All right. Well, welcome. This is Sherry Fredericks, your diamond leader of the Dream Achievers team. And we are here on our weekly Zoom team call. And I'm excited. We have Katie Gettle with us and she shortly will be sharing how she promoted to bronze. So Katie, I can't wait to formally introduce you in a little bit here. And I can't wait to hear what you have to share. So we're very, very excited about that. So thanks, Katie. Okay, well, we're first going to start out with some victories. So we always like to share a couple of business related victories. Don't be shy. Um, who would like to start? Big or small, you guys? I can go. Oh, Sheila. So yesterday I had zero parties for January and I uh, realized that I needed to order the spring catalogs from my customers. So as I was doing that and going through the list, I'm like, oh, I haven't talked to her for a while. Oh, I haven't talked to her for a while. So I started sending messages at the same time and I booked three parties. Yay. Congratulations. So zero to three and just, you know, within a half hour. Yeah. Isn't that awesome? Was there anything magical that you said? Um, no, just that you haven't hosted for a while. We have extra host credit. You want to try a January party? I love it. I love and it. I said yes. Yeah, that's fun. I, um, I was not sitting where I wanted to be and I still have three more to go, but I don't know if you saw that on the team page. I had that picture of the toilet. Yes. And, uh, you know, like, I don't like doing it either. You guys like who does, but, um, you just got to push through it and make yourself do it. And you're not doing that every month. Cause once you're on a roll again, you're booking, you know, like Angie has 12 parties in, in January and Angie booked them off of her probably September, October, November mm -hmm. parties, which is normally what I do, but whatever it happened. And Sheila, you probably do that too. But anyway, um, you just got to force yourself to do it. Like Sheila just said, oh, I don't have any parties. I guess I better do something about it. So great victory, Sheila. Congratulations. And uh, there's probably more people out there that would book more with you if you want. Probably. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay, we have time for another victory, big or small. Who's next? I'll go. Desiree, what's up? Well, I... My team re-promoted to bronze Ooh. and I didn't even realize it was going on until I looked and I was like, wait, we're bronze again. Woo. I love it. I love it. That's, that's amazing. I, go. I knew we were close, but I didn't realize we actually did it until I looked and I was like, dang, I need to congratulate these ladies. <laughs> Because right now your goal is to maintain that, right? Oh yeah. Well, my goal is silver. Oh, but... <laughs> what? So bronze is that your highest you've ever been? Yes. Yep. Okay. So silver would be a new promotion. Yeah. Yeah. You can do it. You can do it. I love it. Okay. Time for one more. Who else wants to share? Congratulations, Desiree. Thank you. <laughs> Anybody else want to share a victory? How about you, Steph? Share if nobody else does. Yeah, do. Um, so I personally love meal kits, and I always operate on the fact that you sell what you love. Like at vendor shows, I always sell my favorite thing, or if people ask me what Mark likes, like those things, those individual items, I always sell the most of. But I do not have a strength in selling meal kits, even though I use them and I love them. Um, but because I was getting ready for the reset, I just put a message out there that I was going to start a separate group from my business page just for my reset stuff. Cause I called it like a preset because I wanted to start at the beginning of January instead of waiting until, um, the 17th. Um, and that would give them an idea of what the recipes look like from previous resets and stuff. And so far I've sold without really like quote unquote trying three full 14 day meal kits, 14 day resets Whoa. without like making such a big push about it or without saying, you know, start this reset with me on the 17th. So just from that group. Well, you marketed yourself very well, Stephanie. Congratulations. I didn't join your group, obviously. Well, that wasn't the intent. You want customers, but I thought it looked really smart. So that doesn't surprise me. So, um, 
great job. And does anybody have any questions for Stephanie on that? Because I thought it looked really brilliant. It sounds brilliant. I'd love to see what you're doing. <laughs> you can join my group. I'll send you an invite. Awesome. Hey, I appreciate it. You send me one too, Stephanie, please. Yes. Angie. Angie, sure. Okay. Yeah, I thought yeah. you marketed yourself very well, um, Stephanie. So that doesn't surprise me that you sold that many. How many did you get in your group? Um, I think I'm up to 28, I think. Okay, so very manageable. It's not like yeah. it's crazy, but it's not Yeah, like no. And it's definitely people that I know that have done other things before, um, different, you know, meal plans or different diets or whatever you want to call it. But so, so I just know put, I'm sorry. that they're watching for that. You just put a message out and said, hey, anybody want to join this? So you let anybody join. That's yeah, I didn't, yeah, yeah, I didn't call it like a weight loss group. I didn't call it like going low carb or whatever. I just said um, something about more protein and less carbs, just that I was tired of like shakes or whatever. I wanted actual food. And so I know people are watching to see what you can eat if you do the reset. Well, it was, it was brilliant, Stephanie. So congratulations. I'm very Thank happy you. for you. And Obviously, good timing. Yes. <laughs> Smart marketing person that you are. So we'll let Stephanie know if you want to be invited to that. Um, I'm sure she, like she said, she'd be happy to do that. So I think Tammy, Tammy um, Smith asked Stephanie. I don't know if you okay. that. Yeah, so, I just see that in the chat now. So, yeah. yep. So, all right. Well, fantastic. Okay. So let's move on to announcements. And welcome to some of you that just got on Lisa Burns and Hillary and Shelly. We're glad you joined us. Um, announcements. So we're talking clean. Let's start clean in January with that sales incentive. So to remind you, today is the 10th. So if you're close to 250, um, when you hit 250, but $250 in sales by January 10th, you get that cute dish towel or tea towel for free. And then there's other things you can earn in January. So check that out on my HQ. You can still register for Lead Strong. I know many of you have. You know it's virtual. And we have basically one spot left, Stephanie, so I'll be talking to you later. Um, but we are meeting in Alexandria, and I'm just waiting for a couple people to confirm. Some of you know who you are. You're on this call. But um, we have 24 spots, and I'm super excited that that will be filled here shortly. So I cannot wait for that. For those of you that are joining us, more details will be coming soon. Okay, sponsoring up in Jan or sponsoring in January. Tastefully Simple sent out an email today, I saw, to my clients as well as yours, who wants to earn a free trip to Mexico or something like that. And um, remember, when you sponsor in January, our new team members will get double sales points. Now, you just heard Sheila in the very beginning share how she booked three parties was that today, Sheila, or yesterday? Yesterday. Yes. Yeah, okay. So when you're like, how can I sponsor someone and how can I do that? Online parties, you can do it. In our tasting parties, you can do it. So if there's someone from the past that was maybe interested, I invite you to reach out to them and see $49 if it's a good deal. And then to remind you, the new spring summer line comes out February 7th. Um, to remind you, Tastely Simple will send out a catalog to each and every one of our consultants. I'm pretty sure TS Perks as well. So everybody will get one. If you, like me, put something on Facebook or you want to send, like Sheila talked about sending out to her clients, um, from Tastely Simple, that deadline is tomorrow, so January 11th. If you're going to do that, I've started doing it as well. Um, you need to print that list out and follow up. Others are throwing money out the window as far as I'm concerned. So follow up after they receive it, private message, text, whatever. Um, and then the last thing, I mean, there's so much to talk about, but the last thing I'm going to talk about before we get to product knowledge um, and is we're doing our taste and trends virtually again, and that'll be February 26th. I had saved or shared to save the date on the Facebook page. I'll be promoting it a little bit more heavily soon. Um, last year, we had five, I was one of them, pretty awesome people um, running it, um, and we had 84 consultants that joined us, so it was a huge success. It's from 9.45 to noon, and we will be doing that again on February 26th, and because it's virtual, there'll be no 
All right. Well, I wanted to bring back the product knowledge segment um, on our Zoom calls. It's for sure one thing we all have in common here on this call is our love for the product, right? We all do this for different reasons. We all have different activity levels and there's nothing wrong with that. But um, we're gonna talk product knowledge and I asked Angie Schaefer to share a product with you and basically sell it to us. So Ange, take it away. Right. My so we have mostly like people that have been with us for a while. So I picked a product, I was gonna, I did baited doing like a new one or an old one. And since we're going on new line, I did a standard. So you guys probably are super familiar with this. When I saw who's on, I'm like, they know this awesome product. So this is the Bayou Bourbon. And this is one that I just love how I, this is kind of a lesson that taught me how words can really sell a product. And so our Bayou Bourbon, how many of you guys use it? Love it. Yeah, I literally, it was kind of funny because I was thinking about what I should use and I was dumping it on my recipe. So I use this one probably more than any other sauce. And so obviously I sell more of it. It's exactly what Stephanie said, you tend to sell more. And so I remember when I first, when it first came out, I accidentally ordered double. And so I had a ton of them. And I remember thinking, I do not want to carry these bad boys home from this expo event. And so I didn't really, wasn't really familiar with it and I didn't quite know how to sell it. And so I was like reading the what's the ingredient. So I had somebody kind of come up and ask me, well, what's in it? And I literally didn't know yet because I hadn't tried it. And so I just kind of read from the back. I'm like, well, it's got dark brown sugar, apple cider vinegar, soy sauce, onions, bourbon, garlic, peppers. And she's like, oh, I'll take it. I mean, literally I just read the instructions and that was where I started to learn a lot of times if you read to them what's in it and not necessarily read to it, but discuss it. That's a great way. So um, and I always add molasses to it in there, but that's one of the best ways I sell it is I tell them it's got brown sugar, molasses. Um, I kind of talk about onions and, and garlic and stuff. And so that's one thing. And then the benefits of it, I always talk about how this is a really versatile sauce and that you can dump it on prepared meats already. So my absolute favorite thing to do is to put this on prepared meatloaf. Has anybody ever tried that? Yeah, Rebecca, it legit changes your meatloaf. So I have a lot of people who will mix it in, but I actually like to drizzle it over it. And so to me, it totally changes the meatloaf into something that I think is more enjoyable. Uh, so I do that. And then I use it a lot on roast beef too and then i also use it in the crock yeah, pot. So i tell people you can use it for stir fries but also as a sauce on top so um i was going to give specific recipes but i think everybody's probably a pretty good pro at these so, is that, that is what you wanted hey, I, I hate to interrupt you angie but someone needs to go on mute okay because there was like some music or something in the background oh. um angie i love the bayou bourbon great job um Anything else you want to add, or does anybody have any questions for Angie on the Bayou Bourbon? I sell a ton of it. That's one of my biggest sellers. And I think it's because I like it. Mm -hmm. yeah. But just to talk about the ingredients, molasses, you're going to sell a lot of it. It works great on broccoli and green beans for vegetables, just a little bit over the top of them too. Mm -hmm. Sweet potatoes, carrots. I really like those too. Mm -hmm. It's a really versatile one. Uh, it's so good on just about anything. Thank mm -hmm. you for sharing that. All right, Angela, thank you for um, getting us excited about the Bayou Bourbon Lake. <laughs> Great job. All right. Well, next up is our fair and lovely Katie Ghetto. Katie comes to us from Chamberlain, South Dakota. And Katie joined Tastefully Simple in March of 2020. So that's not even two years, you guys, right? Ah, she's a new bronze leader. So she just promoted to bronze January 1st. And she said she married her best friend, Michael, September of 2020. And they have a three-year-old German short hair pointer dog. You can tell me his name. Maya. Maya. Oh, Maya. That's my granddaughter's name. <laughs> um, Katie works full time in medical records. Do you work in the office or out of your home? Home. Nice. Um, Katie said she originally joined for a little extra money, but didn't know it would change her life. Um, please give a dream achievers welcome to Katie. We're so glad you're here. Thank you for having me. 
Mm -hmm. So Katie, I have some questions for you. Can I ask them or did you want to say a little bit more first? Whichever, it doesn't matter. Okay, well, one of my questions is how you did promote. So let me ask you this first. How many consultants are on your team right now? Six. Six, and so six in your first line or do you have a second line, Katie? No, they're all first line. The six first line, congratulations. What, um, I'm intrigued by this question. What does a typical month look like for you with Tastefully Simple Katie? Well, I normally have only been doing online Facebook parties, mm -hmm. but I was looking for a change. And so I started doing in-home. I actually traveled four hours at the beginning of this year to do an in-home party. And it turned out to be, I think it was $1,200 and one of the daughters joined my team. Wow. So it was well worth the four hour drive. Wow, that's great. So when you say you do online parties, how many do you normally do in a month? Or do you have a goal or do you just see what happens? I try to do two a week and I was doing one hour parties. So a Tuesday night or a Thursday night. Well, I started doing seven to eight and eight to nine, and then some I'd have nine to 10. And so my Facebook was just blowing up and it was too much. So I just started a five day party. I spent the whole weekend rewriting my party scripts. So we'll see how the five day turns out. So I think I can do way more parties that way. Good idea. Yeah, great idea, Katie. Good luck with that new approach. Okay, so here's what we all want to hear is you promoted to bronze January 1st, like I said, and to remind you, a bronze leader with Tastefully Simple, when you promote, your team sales are 2000 a month, and your personal sales are 500 and you can get paid at that in a month, but to promote, you need to do that the three months out of the quarter, or there's also a cumulative, which is just a little bit more. 6300 6,300. That's how I did it. So that's why I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's great. And then Katie gets free party palooza. So get on stage recognition. And you also got a bonus. What was your bonus, Katie? $100. $100 to promote. So, okay. Do you mind sharing with us how you made it happen? Because I think you said in your introduction that you originally just joined for a little extra money. Yeah. Do you, want, do you want me to go into my story now yeah, or yeah, just yeah, how yeah, I, yeah, 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 okay. Yeah. You go, you, you share from your heart, whatever you want to share, Katie. Okay. <laughs> so when I originally joined, like Sherry said, I joined for just a little extra money. I joined in March, had a wedding coming up in September. Can you hear me still? Okay. Yes, yes. yes. I just muted myself, but yes, you sure can. You're great. Okay. I had that little thing pop up. So um, had a wedding coming up in September. We were building our garage onto our house. So there was money there. And then lovely South Dakota summer brought a hailstorm and totaled my vehicle, cracked the windshield. And so I had to get a new vehicle. So needless to say, Tastely Simple had to take off in order to pay for all this stuff. So I did the fast start, which I highly recommend promoting that to anybody you sponsor and run their blast off party and then help them push to get through it. Um, I, what really took off is I registered for Lead Strong in 2021 and got this little ribbon right here that says party to paradise on track. I had no idea that I was even on my way there. And come April, I earned party to paradise for myself and turned around and earned party to paradise for my husband in June. So just two months later, um, I went out to eat with some friends and they asked how we, how we get him there too. And I said, well, I really need my team to hit these different sales in order to promote to copper, and then I'll be in. And so they went on to my team's website 
and ordered from my team to help them get the sales and promote me to copper. And so that's how I earned the trip for both of us. Um, and then how I promoted to bronze is I was watching, I set a goal at this year's Palooza to earn bronze by January 1st. And in October, my team sold $2,562. And November, they were a little bit shy. It was $1,459. So then add that up, it's $4,021. So we still need $2,300 to get bronze. And so I promoted it on the page. I told all of them. I kept sharing with them different ways to promote everything and get there and shared it multiple times throughout the month, how close we were. And we ended December with $3,947. Wow. That's fantastic, Katie. Good for you. Good for you. Um, how did you get your buy-in on your team, Katie? Were they like, I know some people are probably thinking that sounds great, but how'd you get them to like respond or do more? Um, I had one particular consultant that was going on vacation and someone messaged her right before vacation that she wanted to have a party. And so she said yes right away. And then, um, sorry, I was reading what Rebecca said. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she said yes. And she set it up for the week that she was gone. And then I kind of was there to answer comments and stuff. Yeah. And she ended up, I didn't write it down. She made it on the top 10, your top 10 list. Oh, fantastic. It was like 2,900 and some dollars. And That's it was pretty much all that party. All that party. Oh my yeah. gosh. It was crazy. <laughs> Did you ask her if she wanted, did, did your team member ask that person if she wanted to join? She sells other stuff. She's not going oh. to. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations. That's fun. Yeah, super cool. Now, Rebecca was asking about your car. Something about, is it paid off or something? It's not quite, but there's only 2,000 left. Did you buy a new new used or new did you have to buy a new one i guess i wasn't sure on that yeah i had to buy a new vehicle because they totaled mine out uh, and it was basically new it was a 2019 that i bought in 2020 sure. i think so yeah you're it's almost there <laughs> you're using your ts money to pay off that car yes awesome 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 okay um, well, what's your next goal then, Katie? Well, at Palooza, I put down silver by July 1st. Yay! You can do it. Yeah, that's my shoot for it. Well, you can do it. Well, look at you did copper, bronze, so it's only the next step, and you've done well with all of them. Okay, another question. I have two questions left and then we'll open it up to the rest of you. Um, what do you enjoy most about your tastefully simple business, Katie? Just the confidence that it's given me. If you would have asked me last year to do this, there's absolutely no way I would have done it. Serious? <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh, well, you're doing fantastic. And you, I never would have guessed that you wouldn't have done that, so. That's and awesome. even in my outside life, um, in special music for church yesterday, the special music person was sick. And for what odd reason, I volunteered myself to play my trumpet and a song that I hadn't even practiced in church. And it went great, but. That is so awesome, Katie. So it just makes me so happy that it's flowing over into other areas of your life. So yes, um, congratulations. And then all the friends that I've made other consultants and customers. Very, very true. It's life changing. Okay, my last question, and then I'm gonna open it up to the rest of you, is what advice, Katie, do you have for the others? You've done very well. 
What advice do you have? I think if you put in the work and set your goals, achievable goals, not unrealistic, and then push for them and don't stop until you're there. And then a quote that I thought of the other day, um, the person that there's two people in your life, the person that wants you to succeed the most and the person who believes you will fail the most. But the best part, you get to pick which one to follow. That's great. That's great. All right, Katie. Well, you are very inspiring. Does anybody else have any questions for Katie? You did fantastic, Katie. So I have a question, Katie. Good job. I love what you just talked about. It's super fantastic. But um, how did you decide to go for leadership? And maybe that was the I needed to get points for a party to paradise because I have so many on my team who are rocking their sales, but they just are too scared to take that leap to leadership. Is there something I can say or advice to them to, to do it? Or does it have to come from inside? What do you think? I think it it's a little bit of both. I think it does need to come from like them make the decision because that's where I'm at right now is getting my team to take the leap of jumping into leadership. And I think showing the money aspect, like there's more money that you can make if you go into leadership. And then to show that if they do want that trip, that that's a really easy way to get it is to do that. Cause that's how I got Michael's spot is it was all sponsoring. Okay. I think I had one, one person or two on when I earned my spot and all the rest came from after that. Okay. That's all awesome. right. Thank you. Very, very good question, Andy. Very good. Who else has a question for Katie? Anybody else? Rebecca, do you want to add anything? You're Katie's sponsor. I don't mean to put you on the spot because I didn't ask you to do it, say anything, but. Um, Katie is Katie's just pretty amazing. Um, she didn't talk about how she was a consultant and then you actually quit when the- Oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> so, you know, she'd had some experience and a little bit of clientele, but that confidence wasn't there. And I've just seen that just explode in her and just step forward and, and bring out maybe stuff I'm not paying attention to and kind of keeps, like I tell her, she keeps me on my toes because I don't always, I, I mean, I pay attention, but I'm not always paying attention to the details like she is. And, um, you know, she's always, recommending like I know she's doing a lot of podcast work on herself and just that constant improvement and so she inspires me and keeps me going I, I say that all the time I told HQ that today um, when they called to congratulate um, me on my promotion even though I missed their call I had to email them back but um, yeah and I think too with Angie and your question I know that when I joined Tastely Simple, I was like, I'm not building a team. Don't talk to me about team building. I just need cash right now. And then once you get that little taste of it, getting that first consultant on and seeing that extra cash, that's going to light their fire. So if, even if they can accidentally sponsor, <laughs> that might get them going in the right direction. But yeah, just breaking down that cash because um, I know Katie gets a bonus and I'm thankful for her promoting and I, I get the same bonus. So my husband saw a $500 check sitting on my purse for my promotion and he was like, oh, you can buy me this. And I was like, yeah, right, I can't buy you that. So um, it's it's contagious. So I probably talk too much, but. No, not at all, Rebecca. Thank you. <laughs> no, that's awesome. Okay, guys, last call. If anybody has a question or a comment for Katie. Otherwise, Katie, just thank you so much. I know you can reach out to Katie at any time if you have a question that you didn't think about or you just want to ask her um, personally. So please, I know Katie's very gracious about that. So Katie, great job. And I'll be sharing, yeah, we'll be sharing the recording tomorrow. So um, just to wrap it up, um, I'm so glad you're here. It's a new year. We had a great, we had a great 20, 
21, a great fourth quarter, and I'm really excited to see what 2022 is going to bring us. Um, if you have any um, ideas for what you would like to see on Zoom, please message me or email me because I would love to help um, our team grow in whatever areas they need. So thanks, guys. Before you stop it, oh, yep. I forgot to say that song. Um, oh, yes, yes, I'm sorry. No, that's fine because I'm nervous to share it. I don't know if we'll get blocked or not because we don't have the rights to share the song. But I, I want everyone to on Zoom, Katie, share it. What? Go for it. I, I didn't realize when you it. asked me, you meant Zoom, share it. Okay. I think you should just sing it to us right now. Ah, you're funny. I said I played <laughs> trumpet, not yes, sing. You and Rebecca could sing it. Well, now okay, it's don't. Done. I will, and that will be freaking scary. <laughs> Hang <it>. on. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and share. If you can share, Katie, it'll be a great way to end our meeting. Don't make me cry either. Oh. Well, we'll see if this will work. Can you tell us the name of it, or don't you want to? Um, it? It's called Believe by Fearless Soul. Mm. Hopefully, you can. Can you hear it? all I was going to share. That was a great song, Katie. <laughs> well, that is great, Katie. That is fantastic. And that is just perfect. Um, That's been my song ever since I found it. I love it. I love it. Jill would just absolutely love that one as well. So um, Katie, that's amazing. Thank you so much for sharing the song and sharing your inspiration and your knowledge. And um, thank you guys all for joining us. I'm going to end the recording. And then if anybody needs to hang on, they sure can. Otherwise, have a great week.